We have a tendency to jump quickly to conclusions. You know, when we read the Bible, we make a lot of assumptions. You know, we read a word and we assume immediately that that word, the way it's understood, is the way we understand it today. But brothers and sisters, let me just give you an example. Let's read Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. All together now, ready, read. Now, if you are to understand this passage, this verse, what would be the key word here that you need to understand? The word salt. And of course, we jump quickly to conclusion. Our understanding of salt is sodium chloride today, the one that we use in our, in our food, in our preparation for food. So that's jumping quickly to conclusion. Let me say to you right now, this salt that Jesus Christ is talking about has nothing to do with sodium chloride or the salt that we use in the kitchen. Later on, we'll look into that. But that's what it means jumping quickly to conclusion. And then, number three, we tend to be not open to new things that are being said. We tend to be not open. You know, meron tayong kasabihan sa Cebuan at sa Tagalog. Uh, sarado kandado. You know? Kung ano yung kinalakihan mo, sa Cebuan, we say, kung sa'y kikamataan, mo'y kamatian. Kung ano kinalakihan, siyang kamamatayan. And so, we, uh, we're, we're close-minded. We don't want to uh, open up to new things. 